Hi there, this is Marcus and I'd like to teach you the very basics of GLIS 3. So, this is what we're going to come up with today. We're going to animate a custom colored map of San Francisco here in 3D space. Great, let's jump into this. You can find GLIS 3 in the extensions menu of After Effects. And by default, GLIS is going to come up with this like projects panel where you can find sample projects that you can download and open. Um, but we're not going to use them. We're going to create a new project from scratch here. So the first thing, the basic building block of each GLIS project is a map comp. A map comp is a composition that contains all the like geographical imagery and labels and stuff. So. Let's look for a location here. I'm going to type in San Francisco. I'm going to click the first search result and there we go. That's San Francisco here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. So this map is like pretty self-explanatory. Like every web map, uh, you can navigate it by dragging. You can pinch zoom or you can use these buttons to zoom. And if you want to increase the zoom like very in very tiny steps you can use this slider here there we go below the map you have like basic comp specs like uh, the map name that's the map comp name San Francisco map comps pretty good the size full HD pretty great frame rate and a duration um, I'm good with that so I'm gonna click next now this is where things are getting pretty interesting because you can now style your map directly inside G layers so first of all, you have some presets. You have some like provider presets. For example, Stamen Design has a few styles that you can use. Um, Carto, we have Bing satellite imagery. Um, we have like simply boundaries here. And we have this basic style, which is pretty exciting. You can very easily style this map style. For example, you can uh, drag an image on top of it. And GLIS is going to like use the colors of these images. See that? Pretty great. Or if you want to, you can um, click this drop down here to get some preset colors and choose one of those. Awesome. And of course, you know, I don't like this color very much, so I'm going to make this a bit more subtle right here. And GLIS is going to adapt this map style great so i'm going to zoom out again like that i'm going to hit create now the extension is creating like the map comp and it's containing composition you can see this here this is the map comp which is embedded in the containing san francisco map comp now we can do a bunch of things we can of course um scroll through here drag the map as we want it. Um, if we don't want our selected map comp, which you can actually select here, if you have more map comps, you would see a longer list here. You can create a new map comp from here, but we're not gonna do this now. We're gonna select our San Francisco map comp. You always see the selected map comp on top here. And if you don't want this map to be linked or our map comp to be linked to the UI map. You can click this and then you can um, independent from our map scroll around here. Right? Pretty great. If I wanted to fit my map comp to this view, I could click set map comp view. But I don't want that for now and I um, link the map comp view again. Now, let's get straight into animating. I'm going to grab my playhead here and move it to five seconds because that's where my animation is going to start. And I hit the keyframe button here. And as you can see on our map com, there are a bunch of properties. There's the latitude, the longitude, which is the geographical position of the center of our map comp. There's the zoom, which is obviously the zoom level. There's a bearing and a pitch. Awesome. All of those properties have been keyframed at five seconds. So I'm gonna go to like 10 seconds with my play hat. This time I'm gonna use my map here to zoom in. 
By right clicking and dragging, I can change the bearing and the pitch of our map up to 60 degrees. And like this, I'm going to find a, yes, a very sweet looking view here. There we go, Geolayers is updating my preview map here. And as I scrub through it, I can see we have a pretty cool three-dimensional animation already. But like the imagery is not very nice and the labels sticking together, um, that's not how we want it. This is because now we are like in a preview mode of Geolayers. And if you're cool with your animation, you would need to click finalize. Now this is where Geolayers does its magic. It's gonna download data that it needs to render the imagery for our whole map animation. And it's gonna import it, place it, blend the zoom levels, and then it's gonna look for like the labels, which labels it needs, and it's gonna also place the labels and blend them. There we go. Our map is finalized, and it's looking pretty good actually. Cool. Let's RAM preview this. Nice and smooth animation here. Geolayers has a lot more to offer. Go ahead and follow our video tutorials. Check out our help. There's also sample projects to get you started. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye bye.